What are some of those triumphs that you're especially proud of? I am super proud that my son can ride a bike. <laughs> yeah, nice. Did you teach him that? I did. I did. And it took a lot longer than his brothers <laughs> did. But uh, I taught him. Yeah. And I am super proud of that. And um, that moment when you finally let go, what was that like for you? Uplifting and, and, um, um, uplifting, loving, um, a proud moment, um, happy moment. Um, yeah, a dream fulfilled mm -hmm. because, you know, some things you think you check off like that probably won't happen. I don't know if he's going to do A, B, and C um, because I don't – I want him to learn on his own time and have him do things on it. You know, if he could accomplish it, great. If he can't, then, you know – that's fine too. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I was starting to think bike learning how to ride a bike was one of those, like, maybe it's not going to happen, but he actually did. He proved you wrong. I, he did. He did prove me wrong. And, uh, the, I didn't teach him, but he knows how to swim. Uh, and my wife actually made sure of that happening because, um, uh, I know in the autism community, it's, it's very feel, fearful of kids, um, you know, wandering off and going into pools or oceans and, and not knowing how to swim. Um, so yeah. uh, that was one of the first things my wife took him to was to learn how to swim, especially when you're in California. So you're like, okay. Yeah. Uh, and so he knows how to swim. So how has your relationship with Alex changed since you accepted his autism? Um, I'm more patient, although my wife won't tell, will say probably not that much. More, <laughs> but <laughs> I think I'm more patient with him. I think, um, I am, uh, trying to learn how to um, be a parent to him that's different from my other kids. Um, what do you mean? There's a different way to interact with Alex than with the other mm -hmm. kids. Um, and, um, but also at the same time, love them all the same. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, yeah, I think those are some of the things that has changed. Yeah. So he has a twin brother yes. and mm -hmm. you have other kids too? Yeah. Um, he's got an, his older brother, Harrison, and his twin brother, Will. And so there's three boys. Okay. And it's great because when we were – uh when we were younger and we were, and when he was younger and we were still trying to get him help, um, he had his own, um, uh, built in peer group mm -hmm. to, to, you know, socialize and learn how to interact with, cause he's always with his brothers. And so, uh, so it was a blessing to have a twin brother that you can now have a peer to inter to like gauge or, you know, try to, to learn from social interaction and cues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like social skills, different social kinds skills. Of... That's it. Exactly. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Did he receive some services growing up? He did. We luckily, um, we are in Oakland and. Oh, I used to live in Oakland. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you're from, you are originally from San Diego, right? Because I used I'm to live there too. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I originally born and raised in San Diego, but uh, since I work at Pixar, 
uh, I live in Oakland now. Okay. And uh, our regional center, the East Bay Regional Center, uh, who handled Alex's case, uh, was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Like, um, it's not like I had to wait years before he got services. He actually got services pretty fairly quickly. And uh, we received them through uh, Easter Seals. Mm -hmm. And they were wonderful as well, uh, the Oakland uh, Easter Seals. And um, so, yeah. Was he getting ABA therapy? He was. He was. Um, uh, not so much anymore. But okay. in the very beginning, he was. Uh, he, hated, uh, he hated wearing clothes. <laughs> like mm -hmm. and like we had to always like stroke him with uh that that comb so he gets used to having right the sensory brush yeah the sensory brush mm -hmm. and um and i i remember my wife would bring him to the gym often and he would like go bounce around and try to uh again interact with social other appears uh, so mm -hmm. yeah so uh, he had a lot of that when he was younger you've been watching autism knows no borders if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel also we'd love to hear from you so let us know what you think in the comments section click here to watch this interview in its entirety you can also find us on your favorite podcast app Tune in each week for engaging conversations of how people across the globe are inspiring change and building community. Thanks for watching. Take care.